Good morning guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I say good morning but it's like it's almost 3.30 p.m. Thing is I woke up like an hour ago but I slept at 10 a.m. so I'm, I'm gonna allow it today. So for this week's vlog I decided I'd record a week in my life quarantine edition. I was gonna do a day in my life but we're we're in quarantine so my days are not that interesting <laughs> i just woke up this morning i uploaded my first youtube video no actually i didn't upload it i uploaded it last night but i announced that i uploaded it so i'm gonna put it in the description box below so you guys should check it out basically what i'm doing today um me and my sister are gonna go to the park and have a little photo shoot because i j why not so if you guys are wondering what this mess that I call my hair is in the beginning of quarantine I was like oh my god I should cut bangs oh my god not a good decision I told my sister <laughs> to cut my hair and this is <laughs> what she thought <laughs> I'll fix it really and then my sister ended up like chopping my hair off and it didn't turn out exactly what I imagined it to be but I mean I'm gonna make it work okay so this is, this is just what I look like in the morning, ignore it. But anyways, I'm just gonna get ready right now. It's actually 18 degrees today, so I'm so happy about that. It's pretty sunny. And I'm gonna put on a little summer outfit and go take pics. I got done doing my hair. I'm gonna try to show you guys my outfit. Let's see how well this goes. So, these pants there i ordered them online from zara the thing is i really really wanted balloon pants because i don't like pants that are like i don't like jeans that are like way too tight on the legs like i feel like it's just it's not my style anyways guys take your vitamins how do people do this i don't know especially being in quarantine you're literally not getting any vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin D, any types of the vitamins, you're not getting them. I don't know how accurate that is, but mm. I decided I'm just going to go with this backpack because I like these backpacks. I like anything transparent because I have no secrets. Yeah, I don't know. I just think it's going to look nice in photos. Thing is, I decided I want to change up my Instagram feed because I always just have like photos of me and the caption would be like, golden or something or whatever so i was thinking like i could make the captions like a bit more useful like advice or something or i don't know like a daily reminder or something like that i don't know we'll see how it goes i'm also just gonna be like taking just more content today basically for that reason i'm gonna do my makeup actually i think i was in my makeup on camera but anyone who's ever seen me do my makeup gets scared because honestly my makeup routine is not the best the thing is if I want to, I'll be good at it, but I just don't care enough. I don't really wear makeup that often. I remember in like high school, I would not be able to go out if I'm not wearing makeup, but I literally think I've worn makeup like five times this semester, which is like very little for me, so yeah. Okay guys, so I have my handy dandy mirror over here. I really, I don't know how this is gonna go. Okay, basically before I start, let me explain why i'm using what i'm using since we're in quarantine i'm not able to go buy new makeup because i finished all my old makeup and since i live in a country that is literally winter eight months a year i lost my my natural tan so everything is like way too dark for me now the products that i've literally always been using so i'm literally going to use this old foundation as my concealer i mean it's not the best but if it works it works am i right this does not look good to know. <laughs> Guys, I promise it gets a bit better. Okay. The funny thing about doing YouTube now, like, I feel like before I used to... Ooh. You guys can see what's going on in my closet. Before, I feel like I used to be so shy to, like, talk out loud in my room and, like, everyone in the house can hear me. But, like, now I literally, I just don't care. Because, I mean, if the whole world's gonna see it, my sisters are gonna hear it. That's literally it. But... Thing is, I just want to clarify, the reason that this is so dark is because 
I got this in summer when I was this dark. Like I mentioned before, I used to live in Abu Dhabi. It was summer all year round, so I was just dark all the time. And now I'm just not. I always leave my eyebrows undone, but this is because when I was younger, I always naturally had like really thick like block brows and I used to color them and then I look back at photos and I'm like why is this taking up half of my forehead and it just did not look good I stopped doing my brows and I pluck them and I make them way thinner than they are I just feel like that's just what matches my face and I don't know that's just my opinion imagine <laughs> my skin is like combination skin it's like dry and oily not, not a good combination so that's why I don't like to wear like highlighter on my face because I mean my natural oils are going to make me glow anyways <laughs> basically what we're doing guys we're at the park right now I'm with my sister and we're looking for spots to take photos comment down below and let me know if you think we look like twins because everyone says we look like twins but I don't think so <laughs> and welcome to day two of this week's vlog so it's May 18th and it's 3 p.m. and I'm having breakfast I didn't just wake up I woke up at like 1 30 today I mean I'm doing better than yesterday so look at how cute my milk bottle is honestly my plan for today I'm gonna go on a walk I'm gonna work out I'm gonna edit an IGTV. I'm gonna write the blog post. I'm gonna need to post about the blog post for the guest writer segment. Whoever has any ideas, whoever wants to write something can let me know. I'm eating oatmeal. Okay, I've posted this recipe on my Instagram before. Guys, best oatmeal ever. Add peanut butter, coconut flakes, chia seeds, mix it, add your berries or your fruits or your whatever, put honey on top, and then of course have your coconut milk. Thing is, I'm like forcing myself to work out today because I didn't want to get fat during this quarantine and I was working out super consistently like there was not a day that passed that I wasn't and then suddenly like a week ago I just stopped and I've just been eating like crap like I would just eat sugar all day all night especially because like my sleeping schedule is so mixed up so I'd literally have dinner at like 3 in the morning like I'd have a whole ass meal I'm currently walking I'm near the park and since I haven't been out in so long I literally forgot what spring Slash summer looks like in Montreal, and guys, it's gorgeous. At this, I miss the greenery. I miss going out. I'm gonna show you guys actually how many people there are, and they're all having picnics, and they're all staring too. But there's quite a number of people. So I'm just trying to capture some nice images for the gram, and I don't know. I thought this would be nice. on that statue that I just showed you something about the city that I love is that it's like a mixture between like a city and a suburb and I don't know it's just it's so homey and no matter how many times I've walked to the same place or seen it or been to it or whatever memories I have in it I literally fall in love with the city all over again I don't know it just it feels like home even though I've only been here for a few actually 10 months that's crazy this actually all reminds me of like the first time i came to canada it was in summer of 2006 we actually came here because we were vacationing in lebanon and then there was a war so we had to we had to flee i wanted to actually say something to all of you because i was sitting here and i was just thinking and i realized that although everything that we're going through right now it's so stressful and it's such a stressful time for the world and I know every single person in the world is going through the same thing and it doesn't matter whether you have money or power or whatever literally everyone is going through the same thing and it's such a stressful time for every single person but as much as all of us are tired of this and we want this to be over and we're bored and we're exhausted and we just we want to travel and we want to have fun something that I read the other day is that you're literally never ever going to have a time like this for yourself ever again so although it does suck 
take advantage of this time like honestly if you think about it when in your life have you ever had weeks just for yourself just to work on whatever it is that you want to work on just so you can relax if you want to relax just so you can catch up with people that you haven't caught up with in a long time like literally the first thing i did was talk to people that i haven't talked to in years and it felt amazing i like i miss those memories like yeah sometimes there is a reason that you stop talking to people but take advantage of this time talk to your family talk to your friends take advantage of the beautiful cities that you live in i finished uni in end of april and my plan was to stay here an extra month anyway because i wanted to take advantage of that extra time i would have to discover the city i'm after all i am going to be living here for like another three years so i might i might as well find more reasons to love it more than i already do and that's something that i want you guys to do even if you're back home even if you're just with your family do things with your family do things with your friends it's still possible i mean obviously like do them safely um i don't want you guys to like just go outside and start touching everything and everyone but take advantage of this time so many people i know would message me like oh my god you mean guess what i'm doing now guess what i've been doing next um and they'd like send me progress updates and send me all the new things that they're doing and i it makes me so happy because you're doing things that you love things that you never knew you could do personally ever since i was a kid i always wished that i could draw and then when quarantine started one day i was so bored and i just watched the video and then i started drawing and i was shocked because i mean i wouldn't say i'm amazing but i'm so much better than i thought i would be and i started doing it more often and i got better and better at it and just that one extra day those few extra hours that i had i could i did something that i loved i did something that i always wanted to do and i got better at it so now you have weeks to do that you have months for me it's like mm, almost the third month in quarantine i know some people have been in quarantine for so much more so guys i hope you're taking advantage of this so obviously i mean everyone can choose to do whatever you want with your time but in my opinion if you'd ask my advice i'd say use this time wisely like i swear guys when someone tells me i'm just doing nothing every single day like i don't have any hobbies i don't want to find a hobby i don't want to do anything it boils my blood i'm just like why like you're going to grow old one day you're gonna be maybe in a job that you hate you're gonna be so busy worrying about taking care of yourself and providing for your family that you're not gonna have any time for yourself you might not even have any time for your kids if you're a parent and you have kids take advantage of this time spend time with your kids form these memories these are the times that they'll literally never forget and i know it's not the same for everyone but for those of you who can then do it ever since i came here i wanted to be a bit more healthier and i did do that throughout the year but especially at the beginning of quarantine i took advantage of that so much i spent so much time cooking food that i actually enjoyed so i stopped ordering in went through such a big trial and error period to find workouts that i actually like so i can be motivated to do them and yeah maybe for like the past week or two i like haven't been doing anything but i know that i've been doing it the entire quarantine again guys you really 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 never know your full potential unless you try something try something and fail at it it's fine but try something new but anyways yeah that's that's the end of my little speech <laughs> and i'm i'm gonna get back to my workout currently 5 a.m i think it's actually so beautiful now and i'm gonna sh like look at this oh. i'm just gonna work a bit on the blog because i have a blog post coming up tomorrow so yeah it's about quarantine day idea but i'm kind of sick of writing it because i wrote so much and now i'm just like Ugh. <laughs> not gonna be writing about this again for a long long time hello guys as you guys can see ooh, as you guys can see i'm like dressed i'm ready to go out thing is i'm just gonna go on a walk with my sister because it's really really nice today it's like 23 so it's pretty hot and uh, yeah we're gonna go walk to i think old montreal or like old port so it's beautiful there i'm so excited to go there and film for all of you guys quick snippet of my outfit i love 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 chunky shoes i'm just a chunky shoes person i'm just wearing my white pants my balloon pants with a maroon top that is what i am wearing So 
welcome today. I don't know what it is. Um, I actually didn't record anything yesterday. My hair looks like a mess. I didn't record anything yesterday because I didn't do anything and I didn't want to bore you guys with like me literally not doing anything. You guys are wondering, I'm currently in the plateau. We're walking to go get ice cream by we. I mean my sister and her friends and they're all the way. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just recording myself. <laughs> <laughs> We've actually been walking for like 50 something minutes. It's worth it because I'm seeing parts of the city that I've never seen before and it's beautiful. Literally finally made it. So basically, the plan for today is we are throwing a little grad thing for my sister's friend. I hope you guys have fun. I don't want to take up too much your time. you're not. Anyway, um, how Okay, guys. So the plan is to make. What are we making? We're making cupcakes and we're gonna shape them into one giant cupcake. Exactly. Love that. Well, basically, we're arranging the cupcake cake on the table and this is the first two batches and now we have more batches baking in here I was being useful when I decided to stop because I'm gonna have my lunch I did not make this no I'm not that impressive trying to focus it look at how cute this is oh my god this is adorable Hello guys, um, I decided not to include any actual footage of the surprise because I wanted to leave it to be more like intimate and private But anyways, basically today was our Eid and for those of you who don't know it's a religious holiday All I did today was dress up, take some pics, I'm gonna, I'm gonna include some pics somewhere over here and We made lasagna and I'm gonna include a snippet of the lunch but um, yeah and we just had a lunch that's that's all I did today I was supposed to like have a wholesome night and like have fun with my family and friends and whatever and I just passed out by 7 p.m. like an old lady but I mean <laughs> that's the end of this week's vlog I hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like comment subscribe and let me know if there's any other videos you guys would want me to make Bye.